Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a dotted pattern. Please let me know if you want me to recreate this simple flyer for you. So what you have to do first is go to file, we're going to create a new layer. We're going to create a new file. Now I'm just going to go ahead and choose a 10 by 10 and we want to make sure that our background says transparent. Go ahead and click create. Now you want to go ahead and click on command A to make a selection of your um, background. Now this will activate your transform. If it's not activated, go under edit and then click on transform and then click on scale. Now we want to turn on our rulers. I have my ruler. If you don't have your ruler, all you need to do is go under view. You will see your ruler, turn it on. Now we are going to drag the guide line so we can set our midpoint. So from here, you want to go under your shapes. Now click on your shapes and then choose the eclipse. Now we want to draw a circle in the middle, but before we do that, you still see that our canvas is selected. So click on command D or control D to turn it off. Now we want to click once in the midpoint of our um, canvas. It will open up the create eclipse. So we want to set this to 500 and we are going to do the same thing here. 500, you want to make sure you set it to from center. So make sure that is checked. Go ahead and click OK. Under our property, we take out the stroke. We don't want any outline. In the fill, click on that and you can choose any color. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a black to fill it in. Now, if you click on your fill and you don't see the black, you just need to click on this little icon. It will give you the option to choose whatever color you want. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now we want to make a duplicate of this layer. So just hold your layer, drag it to the plus icon. It will make a duplicate. We want to go ahead and click on filter and we are going to go to other and then we want to go ahead and choose offset. So once you choose the off offset, it will ask you if you want to convert to a smart object. So we want to go ahead and click on convert to smart object. Now you want to make sure that you choose repeat edge pixel and we are going to set our horizontal to negative 4,500 on each horizontal and vertical. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now we want to go and also save our file. So we want to go under edits. And then we want to say define pattern. This window will open up. You can save it to whatever pattern you want. I'm going to leave mine like that because I've created multiple and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now, if we come back to this working file, I'm going to go back to my shape, pick a rectangle shape, draw a line like this. Now we want to go back to our property instead of choosing a color. I want to go ahead and choose a pattern. Now I'm going to choose the pattern that I just created and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now you really don't see it because the scale is a little bit too big. So when you begin to minimize it, you see that it begins to show up. Now we can change the scale to three. You can see it. We can go back and maybe increase it to five. So it's a lot bigger. And you also want to make sure that under your stroke, you check it out so there's nothing in your stroke. Now, if we want more of these dots, all you have to do is go back to the scale and you can basically decrease your scale size. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. So these are the dots. Now, let's say that you want to create it in a different color. So what we are going to do is we're going to make a copy command J and we are going to move this somewhere here like that. And to change this to white, so we're going to go ahead and click on our layer. We want to go under adjustment, add a hue and saturation. Now you want to clip this to the layer below. So just click on your clip 
icon and it will clip it so now if we take the lightness all the way to zero you notice that we do have the white click on that one go back to our fill and we can basically increase our dots so we get a bigger dot now when you get a bigger dot you notice that sometimes where the line and the dots ends, it doesn't give you an even number of dots so you will have to adjust your um, your shape so that your dots fit right in it now let's say that we want to change this to a purple polka dot you need to go ahead and apply uh, a solid color so i'm going to click on solid color and so we are going to try and pick the purple i'm going to go ahead and click ok now you want to clip this layer to the layer below i'm going to hold down options and clip it now i can double click on it if i want a blue all i have to do is just change it and it works for me if i want a white i can do the same thing and it will change it for me i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one bye y'all